Hi there, this is Jerry from StatNode. Today we're going to learn how to use Phrase Expander. So let's get started. Let's go to Phrase Expander website and let's go ahead and download their software. They have a 21 day free trial. So let's go ahead and run Phrase Expander. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I already have some glossaries here, but if you want to import the stat note library of dot phrases, you will have to click here where it says import and click glossary depending if you got the free version is the stat note basic if you got the pro version with a thousand dot phrases you will have this one so go ahead and select it and open and uh, i won't do it because i already have it here but this will be the library of dot phrases is organized in um, different categories of specialties. Okay, well, let's get started to actually using this tool. So I'm gonna open um, a Google Docs to help guide this, this tutorial. So we already installed it, uh, uploaded stat note. Now, um, there are over a thousand dot traces, so you, you can get um, uh, familiar with all the phrases using uh, our book. You can get on Amazon uh, and you can use Kindle Unlimited to get it for free. Um, or you can use the subject index that is in our website. If you just type stat note uh, subject index, uh, you should be able to see the link here. And um, here's an updated um guide for all the dot phrases that we have so go back to, to the tutorial okay so if you want to expand the dot phrase there are two ways to do it one is using a quick find and the other one is actually typing out the abbreviation and all the abbreviations or all the dot phrases start with a semicolon and this is to avoid as accidentally typing out something you don't want to expand so for example if we want to expand our atrial fibrillation dot phrase we'll type semicolon afib and you will see a quick guide of all the options that you have and uh, you can use your mouse or um, use your keyboard and select one and then you have to press shift to actually expand the dot phrase so let's go ahead and expand this one as you can see, it will open up a uh, pop-up with uh, some options. So, for example, if I wanted a paroxysmal, uh, it will add that. And then you click here where it says send text, and they'll insert all the text. Um, another way to do this is uh, using the quick find feature. So, to... To, to use the quick find feature, you have to press a hotkey, which is Alt spacebar. So let's do that. And then once uh, you have that quick find box, you can type a keyword. So in this case, we're gonna look for atrial fibrillation. So if you type AFib, it should show that. If you type atrial fibrillation, you should look for that. So again, to insert that phrase, you're gonna press shift. And uh, once you modify uh, your dot phrase, you're gonna click send text. Okay, so let's do another uh, example. Let's start with diabetes, for example. So let's say we're doing our soap note and we have the, um, let's see, our HPI, physical exam, the assessment and plan. 
Okay, so let's do comma, oh, sorry, um, semicolon diabetes and um, all the dot traces um, have, um, there, there are dot traces for each section of the SOAP node. So for the HPI, there is a dot phrase for the physical exam, there is a dot phrase, and then there is another one for assessment and plan. Some conditions that uh, have procedures or billing codes, you will also find some dot phrases for that. So for example, in diabetes, um, we have the HPI section. So in this case, um, it's uh, diabetes uh, with PO medications or insulin. So let's select the PO medications and press shift. And then um, it's gonna open a pop-up and we're gonna do some selections just to actually edit that phrase and um, with whatever the patient uh, condition is. So let's say if the patient is taking metformin and glipicide, we'll select that. Let's say if the patient is not compliant, um, no hypoglycemic events, um, maybe the patient is checking the blood sugar, uh, no paresthesias, and the patient already saw ophthalmology for a retina exam, and the patient is not exercising. So all these selections will translate into modifications in the template and go ahead and send the text. And um, it will insert the dot phrase. So in this case, it was all caps. So make sure you don't do that. Let's do this again. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and click uh, send text. I'll insert the dot phrase. So uh, now for physical exam, uh, I like using our extra short physical exam. So let's try something different here. Let's try the, the quick find. So again, it's alt spacebar. And let's see, PE, adult, we have the extra short. And maybe we did a food exam, so let's look for that. Let's see. So we have a diabetes PE exam. Um, maybe it has a normal sensation. Okay, and then for assessment and plan, let's do the uh, dot phrase for diabetes for our assessment and plan. So let's see, let's try the semicolon now. And um, all the assessment and plan dot phrases, you will see a hashtag. So like here you see the hashtag, so we're, let's insert that one, press and shift. And uh, let's say that it's not controlled and we're gonna adjust medications and the patient is already on these medications. Let's say that we order some labs and we refer the patient to ophthalmology and we did a monofilament test. Now let's send this text and we'll insert dot trace. And um, so that's one example. Let's do another example. For example, a patient that comes to urgent care with abdominal pain. Let's try that. So let's try looking for a dot trace for abdominal pain. Okay, so let's try that one. Now let's say the patient has been complaining of abdominal pain for days, and let's say it's in the um, left lower quadrant, uh, it's constant, cramps, worsens with food, no fever, no chills, has nausea, vomiting, maybe some
and if the patient is a fem uh, female, we'll uh, keep this one. If not, we can get rid of it. Okay, and for physical exam, there should be one that is pertinent for a, uh, with a abdominal exam. So let's look for that. Let's see, P abdomen. Okay, so it's there. And let's say in the abdomen it has, um, we said the left lower quadrant was tender. And the assessment plan, let's say if just um, regular gastroenteritis. So I'm gonna look for gastroenteritis. And let's say if it's viral. So um, something you might notice I'm seeing two versions of all the uh, of some of the dot phrases. Let me show you. So you see there are two, and the reason is because I have the StatNote Pro and the StatNote Basic. So if you want to disable one of those, let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna go to Phrase Expander, and let's see. Okay, that did it. So that's how you deactivate. If you got the uh, the basic version or the demo version for free, and then you decided to get the, the pro version, uh, that's the way you disable the basic version. The basic version is gonna have links and ads, so you don't wanna use that one. Okay, so let's do another quick sample. For example, knee, uh, patient with knee pain, probably with osteoarthritis. Let's try the quick search. Okay, knee osteoarthritis. Let's press shift. And let's say the patient is complaining of left knee pain and it's not well controlled. And then for physical exam, Make sure you disable the caps locks, otherwise you'll have a dot phrase in all caps. Uh, let's see a physical exam here. So we say it was a left knee. We have crepitus, tender triple patient, maybe not a normal laxity. And the assessment and plan Remember, we put a hashtag, and we say it was the left side, and maybe we consider an injection. So, oh, remember to press shift and not click on the dot phrase. Let's do that again. Okay, send text. Okay, so uh, let's review a little bit of billing. So let's say that we did a procedure, for example, we actually uh, did the injection. Let me show you a dot phrase for knee injection. So let's say we do the left knee. And um, we have dot phrases with CPT codes and um, EM uh, visit codes. So for example, let's say this was a 9213. Uh, there's a dot phrase for that. Probably you will remember that from memory, but for uh, physical exams, maybe uh, that'll be helpful. 
So all the CPT codes and EM codes, you will see a star next to it. So let's look for a CPT code for a knee injection. So you see the star here. And there you have the CPT code. Let's say we want to look for a CPT code for this visit, the EM code. Um, let's see, EM for an office visit. An established patient. So. Um, let's do another example now a physical exam of this 50 year old lady okay so if it was an established care we'll click here Let's say that the patient doesn't smoke, doesn't drink alcohol, no drugs, regular diet, exercises, maybe patient is a nurse, lives with family. And if we wanted to add something to this, you can click here, husband and two kids. Okay. And let's say there is family history of diabetes and hypertension and cancer. Maybe we want to specify what kind of cancer. We click here. And let's we'll say mother has breast cancer. Okay, and then uh, there is a female section for the physical. So we can uh, click on uh, pap smear sexual activity, contraception, maybe patients using an IUD, menstrual cycle, other problems, if we, we're gonna talk about other issues, if not, we disable that. So we click send text and then we'll insert the dot trace in the template. So that will be the HPI section of your physical. Now we can do a physical exam section and let's look for um, I usually listen to the lungs and heart, so let's do the cardiopulmonary. Uh, let's press shift. Okay, and then let's do the assessment and plan. And um, all, the assessment and plan section of the physical is called health maintenance. And um, this is based on the USPS Preventive Task Force. Sorry, the US Preventive Task Force. Um, all the guidelines. So um, let's see. So you skip this. This is just part of the code. So let's say this is a 50 year old female. And uh, let's say that she's not taking aspirin. Let's say we order a colorectal test. Um, Maybe we did a, a pap smear today and gave her the flu shot. And for example, if we wanted to add the uh, physical exam findings of a pelvic exam, we can add that. So let me show you. So pelvic PE. And um, perfect. Now, if you want to recall the EM code for a physical visit or preventive visit, you can look for it. So, let's, um, do a quick find with ALF spacebar and do EM physical. Uh, let's say this was an, a new patient, so it's an initial visit. Let's press shift. 
and uh, it's based on age so this patient was 50 years old so just select this one this will be your code so you just insert it great so we're gonna stop here and if you want to learn more make sure you watch the second part of this video take care